Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'm going to be sharing with you some more fun and simple DIYs. Before we get started, don't forget if you enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click on that little notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. For this first project, I was inspired by this macrame ladder that I found online for $64. The first thing you'll need is some Dollar Tree wood dowel rods. You can use Dollar Tree yarn for this project. They're just cotton string. You can also use their rope or some of their jute twine for this project. I will be using my macrame cord just because I already had some on hand. The first thing you want to do is measure out six pieces of your rope, twine, string, whatever you're using. I measured mine out to 84 inches each. Then you're going to separate those into three pieces each, take one set, and loop it over the dowel rod like you see here. Then you'll do the exact same to the other side with the remaining three pieces of cord. I found this easiest to hang your ladder on something. And at this point, if you know how to do a square knot, you could go ahead and do that. But we are just gonna make this simple and I am just gonna braid the three pieces together. Once you get close to the bottom or wherever you want your ladder to end, you're just gonna tie a simple knot there. And then on the other side, we will just repeat all of these steps. And once you are finished, the final step is to just add in the rest of those dowel rods to your ladder wherever you would like. I moved mine around, I think about two or three times. Then at the end, I just added in one string to be the hanger for my ladder. I did snip off the ends of my ladder to make them more even and flush. I found this inspiration on Pinterest. It is from Kohl's for $23.99. And I thought when I found this inspiration that I could definitely recreate it. First thing I'm using are these frames that I already had. You can definitely just use Dollar Tree canvas frames if you want. I'm just giving each of these frames a coat of my Waverly white paint. You can use any paint you want. This is just what I had on hand. I picked up these mini glass containers from the craft section at Dollar Tree and I thought they would be perfect for this. The first thing I did was just tie some of my jute twine around the top of the bottle and then I will wrap some of that around the bottle and hot glue it to the back. Then I'm just going to take some of that jute twine that is connected to the bottle and I'm going to wrap it around the top of the frame. To secure it, I just flipped the frame over and I tied a knot around the twine in the back. I did go back in and end up hot gluing those to secure them. 
Then you're just gonna do the exact same for your second frame. For the inside of my bottles, I'm just using this baby's breath that I got from Dollar Tree. You can use any flower or greenery you want. For this next project, I was inspired by this $114 wall hanging macrame flower pot that I knew I could recreate. For this project, I will be using this wicker tray plate that I found at the thrift store, but there are also other options. You can just use wreath forms, um, Dollar Tree does carry those, or you could just also use a frame from one of Dollar Tree canvases. Again, for this project, you can use any of these Dollar Tree items. I will be using my macrame cord just because I already had some on hand. The first thing I did was cut a piece of rope to make the pocket, and I'm just gonna secure that by wrapping it through the wicker basket and tying it at the back. If you are using a wreath form or one of the Dollar Tree canvases, you can just tie the string to those. Then I just cut 20 pieces of six foot cord and we are gonna wrap all of those around the string that we just placed. I found it easier to once again just hang this project to complete it and what we are going to do now is called a square knot. It is a very easy knot but if you do not feel comfortable doing it you can always just do regular knots the same exact way. I will be showing you this square knot a couple times. I didn't speed the video up so that you could follow along. I'm also going to put a photo of how to do this knot here in the corner right now. You may notice I also did not take my square knots all the way to the top to tighten them. I wanted to leave the little bunny ear looking things as spaces between them. Again, if you don't feel comfortable doing these square knots, you can always just do regular knots across this. For the second row, you're just gonna skip the first two and go to the next four to start your square knots. Now you'll be left with two on the front and two at the back of that row. And to start your third row, you will go back to those first two strings. If you are using a basket or a wreath form in a circular figure, you will want to continue your pattern to match that. 
So you will skip over the chords or strings so that you can make a circular pattern. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Once I was finished, I'm just going to take this large needle that I got from Walmart a while back and I will be pushing these cords down into my wicker basket. If you are also using a wicker tray basket, you can use scissors or anything to help you push this down into it. If you are using a wreath form or a canvas frame, you can simply just tie these off. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got tons of inspiration from it. I will see you next time. Bye.